everyone. My name is Alexa Rodenberg, and I have known Anna for about 21 years now. Yep, she's the lucky one that gets to be my big sister. In the 16 years that we lived together, there were some interesting events that took place. We got to drive Barbie and Ken around in a red Corvette. We got to steal each other's clothes. And we got to meet each other's boyfriends, who most of the time were not the smartest ones in the bunch. Well, let's be honest, the male species isn't very smart in general. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Somehow, Anna managed to weed through all of the bad ones and found one that was pretty legit. While her milkshake may have brought a lot of boys to the yard, <laughs> none of them were the right one for her. I honestly don't remember the first time I met Clark, but after I found out that he was a fan of Laguna Beach and rap music, that made him okay in my book. The first concern I had about Anna and Clark's relationship was when I cut Clark's hair for the first time. That was when I realized that he has about 10 times the amount of hair as a normal human being. You might be wondering why this is a problem, but you see, Anna also has 10 times the amount of hair as a normal human being. Now, if you just did the math in your head, you will have realized that this means their children will have 20 times the amount of hair as an average human being. <laughs> Luckily, Anna's going into psychiatry, so when she's brushing her children's hair, she can talk them through it. And how does that make you feel? <laughs> now, I always knew that Clark cared about Anna, but what really made me realize this was the time that we were at our lake cabin, and for some reason we thought it would be funny to pretend Anna was sick and throwing up in the bathroom. I was instructed to go outside and get Clark to come inside, and I told him that Anna was sick and needed his help. He was inside the bathroom within about 30 seconds, and he didn't just go in there, he went in and shut the door behind him because she, he knew that she wouldn't want a bunch of people around if she was sick. I've come up with three reasons why Anna and Clark are perfect for each other. The first one is that neither of them like their significant others to be overly nice. They have to be a little bit mean, and they have to teach each other to tease each other a lot. Number two, they have two of the biggest hearts in the world, and they get their jollies off on helping people. And number three, they both love cats. Okay, so maybe it's just Anna that likes cats, but Clark did tell her that when she was lonely up in Grand Forks and she wanted a cat, that she, if she should get one if it makes her happy. He also told her that the cat could live in his house when she moved back. And that's love if I've ever seen it. But in all seriousness, I was pretty much an instant fan of Clark, and I'm excited to say that I feel like I'm gaining an extra brother today. He already knows this, but he's a lucky man to be marrying this little lady over here. I would wish you the best, but I know that you guys will have an amazing life together, so I don't feel like I need to. I can't wait until we have kids and they can drive around their Barbies and Kens in the red Corvette together. Actually, I just learned today that they now make hot tub party buses for Barbies, so I can't wait until our kids can drive around their Barbies in hot tub party buses together. That sounds terrible, but you get the point. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to thank you all for celebrating with our family today and for coming, and for coming from all distances. I know it means the world to Anna and Clark that you're here. I guess this is the part where I'm supposed to make a toast, so may the most you wish for be the least you get. <laughs>